Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder. You know the drill. Welcome to the channel. Please go to all the corners and do the liking and the sharing and the subscribing and ring the bell. Do all that stuff so you get notified whenever I do all this testing. Today is very, very cool. This is the ultimate 5.3 liter cam test video. If you have a camshaft of any spec that fits available stock piston to valve clearance from any manufacturer, this video will tell you probably how much power you're going to make because I ran camshafts ranging from the stock LM7 camshaft, the smallest camshaft from the factory, all the way up to basically the biggest camshaft that will actually fit available piston and valve clearance and six steps in between. That's right, a total of eight camshafts to show you what your camshaft will make. If you have a cam and you know the specs from any manufacturer, guess what? Take a look at this video. Look at the camshaft that has similar or exact specs on this test and you can figure out what power your camshaft will make. And guess what? Even if I don't have the exact specs, if it's in between two specs, guess where the power is going to be? Check it out. Okay, guys, here we go. What we're going to do basically is start from the bottom on a 5.3 liter with a bare bones, just stock cam right from the wrecking yard. And we'll take you all the way up to basically the biggest cam that will fit available stock piston to valve clearance. And by showing you all these steps in different camshafts, we're going to show you what your cam would do on a 5.3. So if you know what the intake duration is, the intake and exhaust duration, you can kind of plug it in. Hey, my cam is kind of like this. It will be right here. Yes, I know that all the valve events are going to affect exactly where it is. And short of testing every camshaft, as I mentioned before, there'll be no way to know exactly. But this will give you a really good idea because if you have a 212, 218 camshaft, it's going to be really close to the 212, 218 camshaft that I showed you right here. So let's jump right in. We have a stock 5.3 liter from the wrecking yard it is an LM7. It has 706 heads. It has the stock camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the stock cam specs up here of the 191, 190 camshaft. We have the stock truck intake manifold, stock throttle body, long tube headers. Please be aware, a lot of these combinations are not exactly the same motor. But that's not the point. The point is to show you the range of camshafts that we can test on the 5.3 and kind of where your cam will fall in. So run with our stock camshaft, our 5.3 liter. This one produced 354 horsepower and 380 foot-pounds of torque. This will vary a little bit based on how well the particular junkyard motor was actually taken care of. I've seen some down as low as you know, 345 and 370 foot pounds, but this gives you a pretty good idea as a starting point. So what I wanted to do is start off with something fairly small. In this case, this was a crane 200, 200 degree duration camshaft. And again, I'll go ahead like I will, and I'll put all the specs up here for each one of these cams. But as you can see, this wasn't a big step up in camshaft. It was 500 lift. It was only 200 degrees of duration. It was a single pattern camshaft. And we didn't see a big gain, but we did see some kind of gain here. So the peak numbers went up to 375 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 396 foot-pounds. And we kind of got good gains past 2,500 RPM on out. So even on a very small cam, you know, this kind of thing, you're going to get some good gains. So now let's take a look at our next camshaft. This was kind of a truck camshaft. So this was a 212, 218 camshaft. This was from Brian Tooley Racing, one of theirs. I think this was a stage two truck camshaft. I'll go ahead and again, put the specs up here. As you can see, this was a 550 lift camshaft. It had a 212, 218 and a uh, 111 degree lobe separation angle. So it did well, but you can see most of the gains that it made came out at the top of the rev range. So this thing produced 410 horsepower. Peak torque didn't change dramatically, 398 foot-pounds of torque. And again, most of the gains at the top of the rev range. And this is something you can expect from camshafts, especially as we go up in duration. You're not going to get big gains down low. We talked about that in my other torque video, but you will get good gains at the top of the rev range. So that is our 212, 218. <coughs> I wanted to show you something. This is another 212 cam. This is actually the Truck Norris cam. And this is why this cam is so popular. So the, the other one was a 212, 218 uh, truck cam. This is the Truck Norris cam. And you can see it is also, it's a 212, 
220 something camshaft. It is also uh, in, in the 550 lift, has a tighter lobe separation angle, 107, uh, more exhaust duration and a tighter LSA. And you could see that power picked up kind of everywhere. It made a lot more peak power, 424 horsepower, 415 foot pounds of torque and good gains past like 3000 RPM. You know, this is kind of what to look for. This is an example of where if you had a, uh, a two or a 212 camshaft and you had a different 212 camshaft, it could be a little bit different, obviously, but I wanted to illustrate this. And we have another one to look at in our next group of camshafts. So let's check it out. Before I go, it's important to point out, I'm showing you a difference between the truck Norris cam and another 212, 218 cam. Part of that difference that we're seeing, as I said, all these were running on exactly the same motor on the same day and all that. We're just kind of giving a good comparison or relative gain amount. But it should be noted that that truck Norris cam was tested on an L33 and not an LM7. So obviously the gain you don't get from the, the stock L33 cam and it ran the same truck manifold, but it did have the um, 799 heads and it did have more static compression. So it started out about 10 horsepower and 10 foot pounds higher than a, than a typical LM7 does. So part of that gain you're seeing there would be the fact that we started out with a much better motor, but still <laughs> pretty good gains, especially in the middle part. So let's get to our next group. Okay, guys, we've taken a look at cams ranging from our stock 5.3 cam up to about 212, 218. Now we're going to step up even further. So this, once again, we're starting out with our stock LM7 camshaft. And this is a 218 camshaft. You can see not very much. It lost power up to about 3,000, not big gains uh, up to about 4,000, and then, and then started coming into its own. So peak power on the 218, I'll go ahead and put the specs up as always, 419 horsepower for an 18.6 versus 354. Peak torque was up a bit too, 397 foot-pounds. <coughs> now let's uh, step up to a 224 cam from our 219. And unlike the 218 cam, this 224 cam was actually not a truck cam. It wasn't a 550 lift. It was actually a 590 lift. And it's the crane cam that I've done a lot of testing with. So it's 590, 224, 232, and a 113. You can see it picked up a lot of power. And this is another good opportunity to demonstrate uh, what a... <laughs> I, mean, I would call it a more modern camshaft can do. This is another one from the guys at Brian Tooley. And this was their hot rod cam, which is a 217... And I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. And you can see it's actually a touch better than the 224 cam. But again, remember, just like with the Truck Norris cam, we tested this 217 cam on an L33, which was up about 10 horsepower from, a, from an LM7. So even if we say that this 217 cam was about equal or maybe just a touch below the 224 cam, the fact that a 217 cam... Uh, makes the power that a 224 cam does speaks pretty well to the to the kind of modern design and it had kind of more power everywhere it did fairly well but we'll go ahead and get rid of that uh, hot rod cam and now we're going to step up from a 224 to a 234 cam and you guys can get your comments ready <laughs> So big gains from the 230 this is a summit stage four again I'll go ahead and put the specs up here on the summit stage four cam uh, again, and this is a this is not an, an otherwise stock LM7. It is an LM7, uh, but it also has. Uh, I think that they use a flat top piston in this, and it also had some K Tech uh, mildly ported heads. Still had stock valve sizes and stuff, but K Tech did does a offers a CNC program that they do with the stock valve sizes and stuff. So the the heads obviously float a little bit better, but it does go to show you. Um, this is about basically the biggest cam I think that you could fit with stock available piston to valve clearance. I don't remember testing piston to valve clearance on this, so I'm sure that it was close, but it ran in our combination. So, and, and maybe part of that is because we used the stock valve sizes and we didn't have an oversized valve head, which would have definitely picked it up because we've made over 500 horsepower with a camshaft like this, but it takes ported heads and it takes like a fast intake manifold. But this gives you a really good idea I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the 224 and the 218 cam. This right here gives you a really good indication on where we start with camshafts and where you can end with camshafts. Now, I know that we have a, a ported head thrown in there, which would add a, a bit of power. But even if we say that this is 450 or 460, you're still talking about gains of 100 horsepower or more 
from just the camshaft, which is pretty impressive. And the thing is, and this is the important part of this video that I want you to take a look at, any camshaft that you have, I can put in all the camshafts. In fact, we can do that to, <laughs> to make the... Uh... So if we stick in all of our camshafts, we can see that basically every cam here, you know, is going to be somewhere in between. <laughs> So you can see, uh, I've, I've filled this all up and now it's very confusing. But my point is, if we look at the starting point of 350 horsepower and we look at our ending point of 460 or 470 horsepower with a big camshaft, everything else is in between those two extremes. So if you have a camshaft and you have the duration numbers, you can get a pretty good idea where it's going to land on a 5.3. Armature Roller, please. Make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. This should give you all the information you need to figure out what your camshaft is probably going to do on a 5.3.